star doesn't compete with any of the other stars around it, it just shines, which leads into today's game, Sea of Stars, and which shines brighter than other RPGs from the last few years, but not quite as bright as other past RPGs, unfortunately. So it's a gorgeously drawn RPG adventure that is a throwback to the 16-bit RPGs of yesteryear. Clearly it wants to be a modernized Chrono Trigger because a lot of graphics really remind me of like, hey, what if we did Chrono Trigger in 2023 or just before 2023, but like different. So it seems to be a hand-drawn style, very detailed graphics. Just, I feel like, and it's got the turn-based uh, combat, but apparently it has a great story, but I've heard it's got a very slow start, so you have to invest a few hours. I'm talking hours, not half an hour, not an hour. Uh, from what I've heard, five to ten hours. Then the game gets really good. And one person speculated, hey, maybe it's because that's where their Kickstarter money kicked in and it got really exciting due to it. But uh, if you've already invested five hours, maybe two hours into a game, you kind of expect it to be good from the beginning, right? Like, if it's not good from the beginning, that sounds and seems like a game design issue for to me. If your game has so much potential, it would be best to go back and fix it, right? Like, Miyamoto has a classic quote saying, a bad game is going to be bad forever. And it's really tied into this. Like, a game can look great, like this game. You have great music. Someone said nine hours of music. But, like, if the story is weak, and apparently that's the case here, it's not going to be a classic. And I feel like that's where Chrono Trigger really shined. Um, because... It had a great story, some twists along the way, different endings, everything. And so far, I haven't really seen any of that from this game. It just seems pretty, you know, set up, pretty basic. But it has potential, but I feel like it needed more editing or, you know, the main characters need to be made to be more interesting. So that I feel like that's inexcusable for RPG, especially RPG that tries to be the next Chrono Trigger, like Chrono Trigger 3. Um, it just it doesn't achieve that at least from like the first impression I had it just seemed like you know I don't know it just didn't seem to get there um, it just feels like it's lacking and that's what I wrote like it's trying to be a classic RPG maybe it's trying really hard but it's just it the plot seems to let this game down um, it adopts mechanics I kind of felt like the perspective and everything looked like Breath of Fire and Mario RPG apparently you could do double attacks and blocks um, which I sort of thought I saw when I was playing it, but anyways, um, I just feel like no other game other than Mario RPG adopted those double taps and blocks attacks uh, because it just it was very cumbersome. And I even remember when I it was brand new, never been done before with Mario RPG because I'm old as rocks, and remember when that game came out originally. Um, that's how you know a game's really old, generally. At least back in the day, that used to be the way, uh, is if it gets a remaster and remade. And just even then, I remember, hey, this is really cumbersome. It's cool the first hour that you get to do the double attacks, but then it becomes cumbersome. Um, so <clears throat> the two main characters seem kind of bland. And I feel like that's, again, something that Chrono Trigger never really had. Every single character seemed like it was fully developed, fit in the game, memorable. And I feel like so far here, these characters are genetic. Just don't have that unique dialogue or um, situation so far. Yeah, so it seems kind of blat. Uh, the dialogue I s sort of uh, went through seemed okay. The third character, apparently the one that you hear about and don't really see as much uh, apparently is the most interesting one which is kind of messed up like they should be the main character um, so they need better development instead of adding unique twists like Chrono Trigger again apparently it just doesn't have that pizzazz to make it a classic unfortunately and it was really hyped I remember hearing about this game like a year or two ago, saying like hey watch out this is like the next Chrono Trigger and I feel like when they hype a game up like that I get really concerned because it's rarely ever the next whatever 
Um, the music seems decent. Again, it just it doesn't grab you like Chrono Trigger. Like everything was so polished, not just the music in Chrono Trigger. Um, and I just I heard about great things from magazines and just it's just too much exposure I feel like, and it was just too much for this game to live up to. Um, and there's not really anything like the graphics look great, but the, there's so much competition now that even having good graphics, if the music's not high quality and everything's not high quality from the beginning, it's harder to get people to play your game, especially RPG where you're asking people to develop or invest like 30 to 50 hours or more into the game. So I'm not sure if Sea of Stars will last. I mean, it looks good and that's always something that will bring people to a game, but it's just, it seems like some people love it, some people sort of feel like me, like, you know, this game was, could have been better, maybe if they sort of went back and fixed the beginning of the game and, you know, made a character, another character, a main character. Um, so, I just, I just, I feel like some of the people that are praising this game don't realize this is an imitation of, like, stuff that came out 10, 20 years ago. Chrono Trigger is 20 years old now. A scary thought. And this is just an imitation of something that really shines. Like it kind of glimmers maybe Sea of Stars, but Chrono Trigger, like Final Fantasy VI, like those are the games where it was just, everything was reworked to perfection or close to, or excellence. Close to perfection, close to excellence. So for $44.99, I feel like, you know, it feels like a $25 game to me just never quite lives up to the predecessors that it was trying to um, uh, be um, stand along with. So it's not a horrible game and you could do worse for RPG on Steam. There aren't a lot of great RPGs like in the classical sense. Um, it just makes me think of like it makes me want to go back and listen to the music of those RPGs rather than focus on Sea of Stars which is never a good thing. Uh, when it's not like a game like TMT Shredder's Revenge where it's like it can stand alone on its own. It's got some good, really good um, like levels and music um, that will you'll remember. So it just makes you want to relive those classic Square RPGs from 20 years ago rather than to start fresh with Sea of Stars unfortunately. So keep on watching the stars. I'd say this is probably I don't know, I think I wrote, I thought I wrote 8 out of 10. It's not horrible, but uh, just don't expect, like, the, the way the game was praised, it was praised as if it was going to be, like, the next coming of Chrono Trigger. It's really not. So keep on watching the stars. Maybe one day we'll get Chrono Trigger 3, and keep on gaming. So, bye.